हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक माय यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स फॉर सन्ट दिस इज रोहित आई होप यू आर गुड एंड डूइंग वेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द यू नो न्यू कमांड इन सेल्स फॉर सी एल दैट इज डेटा माइग्रेशन एंड दैट कंटेन लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक से डेटा इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट सो आई विल सो यू हाउ वी कैन माइग्रेट द डेटा फ्रॉम वन ऑर्ग टू अन अदर ऑर्ग यूजिंग एस एफ एंड दिस इज अ न्यू फीचर आई विल टेल यू दिस न्यू फीचर वन बाई वन और स्टेप बाई स्टेप here so don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn these his feature so first of all let me tell you what is this uh, new you know data exporting is the you know streaming sales for cli generating json file so once you generate or export or import something so it's always you know generating json file in the your project root directory all right and before deep dive into the specific import to note the limitation of the self for sale like commands due to rest api consideration a maximum of you know 2000 records can be exported and 200 record import at a time okay to handle large amount of data sets consider you know employing multiple commands with staging query filtering or opt tools that is leverage bulk api to higher capacity operations okay so let me explain to you how we can leverage this feature So first of all, you have to update your Salesforce CLI. If you didn't up update it, so you can use this SF update command, and then after that, you can see your SF command will be updated successfully because this is a new command and it's available only you know two point five plus you know version, and that's why you can update it. So I already updated. That's why you can see my two point five nine five nine point six version here, right? and it should be available in your salesforce cli okay so right now i am connecting to orgs winter 25 and another one is summer 24 so i can migrate my data from winter 25 to summer 24 so how we can migrate it let me tell you here so first of all let me clear these all things okay so now let me clear it let me open the terminal okay so let me open my org or my org here you can see so in this org we have data like postman test or 2.1 or 2.1 something like that right but in second org summer 24 org we don't have any data like uh, you know or 2.1 or something like that 2.0 okay so now you can see okay so we don't have any data like that uh, you can comparison or by org so this is my winter 25 so I'll let me click on this list view like all accounts so in this list view we have only 17 records and uh, this is the records like uh, this 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 something like that and second org have lots of records like that like 36 and this org have 17 okay so we can migrate this data from winter 25 to summer 24 like 17 plus you know 36 so we can migrate it right So it should be like fifty-three. I think so, right? So how we can do that? Let me open my VS Code. Under VS Code, you have to type like SF data. This is a new command like export tree. Okay, and you have to take some help from this command, and you have to pass this parameter that is hyphen h to take some help from this you know command. And based on this help, you can leverage this you know feature here. So this command contain you know as of data export tree hyphen o o means you can see the target org q means query you have to give the query and hyphen json format api version and directory these all you can learn from here as well because this is the very most you know informatic uh, commands so you can learn from here as well because self already have this kind of information right so now now let me export the account record using this command so as if you have to use as if data export tree right and after that you can give a, you know query so you have to give you like hyphen hyphen query like that because i need the query you can pass like q or you can pass like hyphen hyphen query it's up to you but it's a require for you know parameter you can see required and also target or right so for, for now Uh, this is the my target or right now because I just logged in this org and query and after that you have to give double quote under this double quote you have to write your query 
let's say select id comma name comma rating comma industry from account right and hit the enter key so once you hit the enter key so in the project root directory here you can see this is a project root directory all the data exported in this you know uh, project root directory in the account.json file okay so here you can see there's some error because of this column is not found in this query so let me correct this is say industry i n d e d u s t r y so this is industry let me hit the enter key and after that you can see our data will be exported into the account.json file here this is the you know here you can see road 17 records to account.json and now this file is created successfully let me click on this file and once you clicked on this file you can see the data as you know exported in the json form like a name rating industry because we already uh, you know did this uh, columns inside the sql query that's why you can see these all value here right now it's time to import these record using our import uh, command export we already did right it's time to import the data from winter 25 to summer 24 org so how we can do that so this is the json file so very simple please observe guys in second org we have only 36 right now and uh, after importing we will see 36 plus 17 right so let's see how we can achieve this so now you have to open the terminal let me clear all the terminal after the clearing all the terminal now you have to do one thing you have to use your data import command so sf data import and uh, tree this is the main thing and take some help from this command because every time you have to take some help which is a you know best recommendation given by the salesforce always take some help from you know commands and based on the command you can uh, go further steps and you can follow these steps so in this command we have like flags hyphen f this is the file hyphen o is the target or so this is the requirement so you have to pass this value otherwise you cannot leverage this feature using this command so how we can do that let me tell you here so first of all you have to do one thing just you can type like s of data import tree okay after tree you can uh, specify your you know command so hy uh, hyphen hyphen like files so you can use like hyphen hyphen files or f based on your need so right now i'm using like hyphen hyphen files right and the files name we already exported right you know very well this one so let me take this name like account dot json this is a root directory of the project right so that's why we can directly access this command or access this file right after that hyphen hyphen target org so you have to use this target org so let me copy this let me paste it here like hyphen hyphen target org let me move to hyphen yeah so now you can see the target org after that you can give the target org name so i have lots of org name so you can see my summer 24 right so how we can get it so you can execute sf org list hyphen hyphen all and in that command let me tell you first and it's easy to handle it right so sf org list hyphen all and this command will give you the number of you know all the uh, org list inside this vs code so it's easy to check your org and uh, you know all your name everything username which one is dev or which one is you know scratch or you can check it or which one is deleted or which one is activated or which one is connected that kind of status you can check out here right so right now i'm doing the data migration into the summer you know summer 24 org so we have to copy this alias or you know like a username based on your need okay so we have to type first of all like sf sf okay sf data let's say sf just a second sf data import tree right hyphen hyphen like files so files and uh, 
my file name is account dot json right and after that you can give like target hyphen org and your org name so my org name is targeting org this one because we already use like window 25 right now i'm using uh, you know uh, this summer 24 because of data migration so i want to insert or you know data migrate the data from winter 25 over to summer 24 that's why so you have to give this command and after that you can hit the enter key so once you hit the enter key now after some time you will be see the some process will be going on so let's see what happened okay so it will take yeah you can see all the data like reference id type account and this is all record id here you can see is successfully migrate from one org to another org so how we can check just open the org so this is the final org this is the target org right now we have 36 once you refresh it you will be see like 36 plus 17 almost like 53 so let me refresh this grid and after that we can see how many records we have so now you can see 53 and also oath 1 also we come in here you can see or 2.0 or 2.1 something like that right so that data coming from this org to this org so that's why you can use these all command this is very most important commands you can learn from here if you are enjoying this video please like share comment subscribe the channel turn on the bell icon for more update so you never will miss any kind of update from my side right and also please share this video as much as you can also put your comments inside the comment section be very good for me because of you know create the contents and up to date for you and me as well so please subscribe the channel okay so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye